essentials. Money was for essentials, especially after Ukoko had siphoned the amount she needed to support her addictions. Alcohol, tobacco, just general keeping up appearances. After all, she had three daughters every day, and anyone who met her had to know that. When holiday season came, Umanwa took her sekai to the rural areas, the only holiday she could afford for us. My school was one of the most expensive primary schools in Bulawayo, on the edge of the city centre, jokingly called Colgate, Namandebele, grasping onto your name, Coglin. Someone in my class had been to Botswana last holiday, others to South Africa. The very basic holidays for the rest of my peers was a tourist destination in Zimbabwe, such as Victoria Falls, Great Zimbabwe, Lake Kariba, Harare. As you can imagine, I never spoke about my holidays, not having money, no running water, no electricity, no toilets, no new clothes shoes. Might as well have drawn a sign saying please avoid me at all costs in the playground. Embarrassed by my situation. Overlooking vital skills gained. Sowing. Growing. Harvesting and preserving my own organic food, carrying water from a well, starting and sustaining a fire for cooking, collecting firewood, the tranquility, peace of mind, quiet, welcoming. Livuganjan, Sivugile, Lichonanjan, as Sichonile, Lina Lichonanjan. Neighbors greeting us as they passed our gate. The sand, Amadobe, disappearing into the woodlands while speaking fruits and berries. Stories told by the fireplace in the nighttime. The most star studded night sky you could ever imagine. Yeah, boy. Thank you.